Webmaster Eric's ultimate warning. Nobody needs social media. Webmaster Eric is my internet moniker. My name is Eric, and among many other things, I am a webmaster. This is a title that I wear with pride and a hint of rebellion. Warning. It is crucial to recognize the potential risks associated with excessive social media usage and to take control of your online presence. While social media platforms can provide a sense of connection and entertainment, they also come with privacy concerns and the risk of addiction. It is important to be mindful of the information you share online and to understand that once it is out there, it can be challenging to erase. By taking ownership of your online presence, you can better protect your personal information and maintain a healthy balance between the virtual world and real life. Remember, you are in control of the content you create and share online, so make sure it reflects the image you want to portray to the world. Webmaster Eric, that's me, wants you to own your digital identity and not some tech company. Owning your digital self is an essential skill in today's technology-driven world. To start, it's crucial to understand the concept of digital self, which refers to the online persona you create through your activities on the internet. This includes social media profiles, online purchases, search history, and more. To own your digital self effectively, you should start by managing your online presence. This involves being mindful of what you share online, including personal information, photos, and opinions. Regularly review your privacy settings on social media platforms and other websites to control who can view your content. Additionally, consider creating a professional online presence, especially if you're job hunting or networking. Furthermore, it's important to protect your digital self by using strong, unique passwords for each online account, enabling two-factor authentication when available, and being cautious of phishing scams. Regularly update your devices and software to prevent security breaches. By taking these steps, you can take control of your digital self and make sure your online presence accurately reflects who you are. I call myself an old term, webmaster. The term webmaster has fallen out of favor in recent years due to changes in the way websites are managed and the evolution of technology. In the past, a webmaster was responsible for overseeing all aspects of a website, including design, development, maintenance, and updates. However, with the rise of content management systems like WordPress and Wix, individuals with varying levels of technical expertise can now easily create and manage websites without needing the specialized skills traditionally associated with a webmaster. While the term may no longer be widely used, there is still value in preserving the concept behind it. A webmaster embodies the idea of a dedicated and knowledgeable individual like myself, who ensures that a website is functioning smoothly, remains up to date, and provides a positive user experience. Even though the role may have evolved, the core principles of website management and optimization are still essential for businesses and individuals looking to maintain a strong online presence. 
By recognizing the importance of website management and the skills associated with being a webmaster, we can continue to prioritize the quality and effectiveness of online platforms. I'm well versed in WordPress development, web design, SEO, SEM, uh, which stands for search engine. Uh, sorry, search engine marketing. <laughs> <laughs> social media marketing, SMM, web analytics, and content creation, be it audio, video, or graphic design. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I'm going back to the basics, back to pre-social media. Anything that I choose to post will be on my terms, and I'll own everything. I own my intellectual property, images that I create, blog posts, videos, audio, a written copyright, everything. I know better than to give that stuff away freely. In the sprawling metropolis of the internet, where data is the currency and tech giants are the bankers, I'm the guy who stood apart from the rest. I saw the rise of the tech companies before they were the behemoths of today who have grown fat on the data freely given by the masses worldwide. I watched as these tech companies built algorithms that could predict, influence, and even manipulate the very thoughts and behaviors of their users. But I know something that many have forgotten, the power of owning one's digital data. With a twinkle in my eye and a plan in my heart, I set out to change the narrative. I began crafting blogs like this one, not just any blogs, but ones that were imbued with the spirit of data independence. My website became a beacon, a place where viewers could learn the art of data ownership and the importance of not letting tech companies use it freely. I urge you to subscribe to webmastereric.com so that I can stay in touch and so that one day I can help you own your digital self. Fill out the form if you want me to help you own your internet identity. Fellow netizens, I used to say, your data is a reflection of your identity, your desires, and your soul. Would you let someone take that without asking, without compensating you? It's time to reclaim what is rightfully yours. One day, my words will strike a chord, and soon, people from all corners of the world will take personal ownership of their data. I'll help you encrypt your data, teach you to use platforms that respect your privacy, and I'll be the first to support your online endeavor. My website is more than entertainment. It is a revolution wrapped in logic and truth. By registering to my website, you'll get blog posts from me that will empower you to take control of your digital self. Soon, the tech companies will watch their data banks dwindle. They'll also realize that I, Webmaster Eric, started something that couldn't be stopped. A movement has begun, one where the users are not just consumers, but also the protectors of their digital domain. And so the tale of Webmaster Eric starts. If you read this, wherever you are, help me spread my message far and wide. Use this blog post as a reminder that in the age of information, the true power lies not in the servers of the few, but in the hands of the many.